Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So I am going to be, sorry, you hear Raina. She's mad because she's in her kennel because I'm going to be painting. So she's not happy. So, and this is Bella. I don't think you guys have ever seen her, but she's an old girl. She came with Scott. So I think she's probably about 16 years old. Maybe a little older than that, but that's Bella. All right, so you know, this used to be where my coffee bar was, and I moved my coffee bar, which I still haven't shown you guys, but again, I have all the plans, and I work so much that I don't have that much done. I actually took it off this week so that I could get some stuff done. However, I'm taking my grandkids to Disney Tuesday and Wednesday, and then SeaWorld on Thursday, so I'm actually not going to get that much done. But it is what it is, right? So, but today, uh, the guy just came out and did the survey for a fence for these guys. Oh my gosh, fencing has gone up so much, and it's going to be like 10 weeks to have it put up. It's crazy. But, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to make this into a little dog area. So, this is on really good. Like, this is screwed into the walls, so I'm not taking it down. And I'm probably not even going to tape over it. I'll try and be careful, but I'm going to end up painting this a different color. And I'm not taking this off the wall either. I'm just going to paint around it. I'm going to add some little nail putty that I'm going to put into these areas here. And I'm just going to paint this in here. And it's going to be a dark color. I'm only doing this wall and that wall. And it's going to be a... It's a Sherman Williams paint color and it's called Iron Ore. And then I've got this black color from Sherman Williams that I'm going to be doing the edge of this. And then I have a couple other things that I'm going to do in that black. So we're going to make this into a dog area and let's see how it turns out. All right, so the next color I'm gonna do, this is called, this is Sherman Williams, and it is Tricorn Black. So this is a really, really deep black. Now on this, because I only needed it for a little bit of area, I got this small, so this is a quart size, like a trial container. And I'm gonna go around the frame and then the very inside of my wall. I'm not gonna film myself painting that. I'll show you that after. And here is my finished dog nook. So the white door you see there, that's to my master bedroom. And then this little nook kind of comes off of the kitchen. So a couple things I'm still going to do. Here along the edge, I'm thinking that I'm gonna put some wood trim just so that the light gray and black contrast isn't so much. And then of course there, up around it. So the inside of the door I did in the same black as I did around the chalkboard now the chalkboard after cleaning it because i had done it with chalkboard paint there is you know some residual on it so i think i'll probably go back in and repaint the chalkboard with some chalkboard paint and then decide what i'm going to put up there now i also am planning above the little hook there I have some wood letters. I'm going to put uh, Reese and Raina up there, but 
I have something that I want to do with them. So that's a whole project. So I'm just going to sort of hold off on that. And then they've got their food. They've got one of their toy bins. They have another toy bin in my room. Raina doesn't really like to sit on this bed. Reese loves this bed. And this is a bully bed. It's actually from a local place. It's a really good bed and I love the cover. I do think I need to buy another one though. I've washed it so many times and you can see it just sort of gets a little bit like sideways as I put it on afterwards. But I do think that I can buy new covers for it. But the thing is the bed, the inside of the bed, it is so durable. I bought this when Reese was a little puppy and he loves this thing. And then I switched out my little food bowl to an oak one. I got that at TJ Maxx for $50. And my little paw thing there, that was from TJ Maxx also. But I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out super cute. And then I'm also thinking about trying to find a wood. I'll probably have to have something made because of the size. But I wouldn't mind having like a wood gate to go across there. Just in case like, you know, maybe I have somebody over that I don't want them, you know, coming out into the living room. I can open my door, let them hang out in there, but then they could still come out and see me. Or like also like when we're eating dinner and cooking and stuff like that, because Reese is so big, he doesn't even have to lift up to get on the counter. Like his little head is counter height. So he can like just lift up and like pull things off the counter. So that's something I think I'm gonna do. But otherwise, what do you think? I love the colors. I love how it turned out and super cute. And then there's lots of room to do pictures. I plan on framing some pictures of Chloe. And as time goes on, I figured they'll end up with a wall collage of different photos of the dogs up there. So anyways, that's it. That's my dog nook. And I hope you guys like it. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye.